Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, an update on the Titan videos. But before we do that, roll those credits. A quick word from our sponsors. PCBWay are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry-leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry-leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining, and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. Right, so if you watched the last video, you know, started something that snowballed, got massively out of control, ended up being much more work than I anticipated or wanted. But we are where we are, and it's going ahead. So, we, as you know, we printed the Titan, we printed all the panels, sent them out to all different artists over on Instagram. From this filming of this video, we sent the parcels out 13 days ago. Now, I think every artist has got theirs, apart from maybe Australia which is understandable, but Japan's got theirs, New York has got theirs, Europe have all got theirs, I believe. We have even had one panel finished and returned. Now, I know which panel it is because when we, when we labelled up all the boxes, we put a sticker on each one, say numbered and saying which piece it was that was in the box, hoping that they'll send, use the same box to send it all back. This person did. So we haven't opened it, but looking at it, I know which piece it is and I know which artist it is that sent it. So, congratulations to you, because you're number one. Now, if you want to see some update pictures or videos of the artists doing their panels, if you go onto Instagram, have a look at hashtag Honey Badger Titan. On there, you'll be able to see some of the artists are doing update pictures and videos, and you'll be able to see how it's going so far. Which left the body. So, as we said before, we did the body all FDM this time because it's stronger. Um, feel like it glues more permanently, better. Um, what we've done this time is we haven't glued this part here. So, the top part removes away from the legs at the waist. It also means that we can turn it and angle it however we want to angle it. What's good about that is when we're moving this, it means we can take this top part off and move it in two parts. When this is all done, obviously it's going to Devil Dog Wargaming. Well, that's in Devon. We're in just outside London. That's a long drive. I'd rather be able to take this in half and sit them, on the, sit them down and know they're not going to fall over rather than do that massively long drive while it's standing up and hoping it doesn't just go, yeah, I'm going over now. So be it. And destroy lots of stuff. <laughs> so, this will be much, much better for our peace of mind. Stuff like that. I actually had four of the toes to do. Um, I could have sent them out to another artist. But I feel like if someone agreed to do this. And what you received was these four little toe bits. I'd be massively disappointed. One of the artists has got a big piece and actually got sent the four toes with the piece they've got. So, you know, but I thought it's not really fair to send an artist just four toes. So I did these four toes. They're done. All of this was... So when I painted this, what I did is I primed it all in Army Painter Brown Primer. Um, I then dry brushed over... Vallejo gunmetal and then dry brushed over that Vallejo 
aluminium. I then went all over that with AK grime and dirt streaking stuff. And then I just went over a little bit with a little bit more of the aluminium dry brushing some of the edges and stuff like that. So calling this done. Then I started thinking about what we're going to do with the rest of the diorama. We're thinking it's probably going to be the best part of the size of this desk, but a bit wider. So we're, we're talking four to five feet long, three, four feet wide. So it's, it's going to be a big boy. Plans are we're going to build a mountain range at the back of it. The Titans are going to be at the front. It's going to be some armies of each side scattered around, some dead. A lot dead over this side, and a lot alive over this side. Live Titan here, dead Titan here. Winning army, dying horrible death army. Then I came across a file, which was free, on Thingiverse or Colt. Can't remember, one of the two. And it's for a Warhammer 40,000 train. Now this gun here matches the gun that the Titans have on their shoulders. Is it on their shoulders or? No, that they hold in their arms. That matches that gun. I think we've done a different weapons array on this Titan, but on the other Titans we've done, this is the weapon that they hold like in their arms. So that's good. Now, it's pretty chaosy, it's got skulls on it. A lot of the detail work on the engine matches the detail work on the top of the Titan. So it's like, cool, that'll fit. We can work with this. And then James chimed in with his opinions. So originally what I was going to do was where the mountain range is, have sort of like in the middle, a tunnel. You can print train track for this. There's a curved piece and a straight piece. So you can make your own sort of track design. It's going to have the track coming out, looping round and going back into a tunnel this side of the mountain. Probably in between the two Titans. That would look cool. James said, what would be better is if you could get the train to work. And I went, okay then, you do it. Your idea, you do it. So he was adamant that he will not be painting this, as he's been adamant that he will not paint anything for this. So his idea is he's going to buy a children's train set, one where the batteries are in the train that make it go around. He's going to buy one of them that is the same sort of dimensions as this train, which I believe he has found one. About £20, I think, £25. He's going to disassemble the trains that are on there. So it's just the undercarriage and the running gear. He is then going to mount this train onto that running gear and wheels. Hopefully make it look like it's supposed to be on there and do some work. And then, I presume, give it back to me to paint it. And that, we should have then a running train on the diorama. Now, all the wheels and stuff like that all print separately and go on there, so we probably won't need them depending on how well this goes. And if it doesn't go well, we'll be printing the rest of the wheels and it will just be sitting on a track. But we'll see. That's down to James and his infinitely amazing idea that he's now got to follow through with and he's standing in the back of the room looking there like he can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, so that's the plan for that. So... If you want to see any more um, of the pictures, don't forget to go onto Instagram, go on hashtag HoneyBadgerTitan. You'll see any of the pictures that are on there now. <laughs> I can see off camera what he's about to do. It's very childish. Anyway, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next video, which will probably be us on a live stream unpacking the first lot of panels we received back. So, catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.